So at what point did you think I should go? <laughs> when you meet someone who likes to photograph tornadoes, your first question might be, um, why? Why is it that you need to go towards them? So I think just as a clarification, I want to run near them. And when you talk to Dr. Jason Persoff, it was not that windy, but there was hail. Who is a full-time physician and a part-time weather photographer. Were you worried about your camera when there's hail? You know, it's funny how little I worry about when I'm out there photographing. <laughs> you realize he's not just chasing storms, he's chasing beauty. It's hard to envision something that's t twice the size of Everest made out of water vapor rotating in the air. For me, it's about capturing that majesty. So uh, this is where the magic happens. But over the past so few right years, there. Jason has found admiration for a piece of right atmospheric here. evidence much, much, much smaller. Then I have to move the sock in various directions. It sounds so silly because it is. So by catching them on this wool sock, Jason can use his giant lens to photograph <laughs> snowflakes, which you know, it can be less than a tenth of an inch in diameter. Let's see here. Let's see how these look. Oh, these look pretty good. Naturally, it's a multi-step process, which we had Jason demonstrate on kosher salt. First, you gotta land a flake on the sock and then take dozens of pictures. So are you actually moving the camera doll to get different angles? I actually am. I control it with my finger. Oh my gosh, this hobby takes forever. They're really small, okay? You can see that I can only capture this part on that particular shot. Once he has his raw pictures, Jason uses a computer program to layer about 20 to 40 tight shots together. Takes a while. Yeah, make sure you include this long, awkward <laughs> pause. And then he can finally render a composite image of a snowflake, or kosher salt, but as you can see, it's kind of hard to beat the unique framework of the flakes. That's so beautiful. Uh, they're amazing. They're amazing. Maybe we can't all photograph snowflakes. I think the things that I'm trying to photograph are very small. You notice That's the that? problem. And maybe yeah. we don't all want to run near a tornado, but Dr. Persoff still has a prescription for all of us. One of the things I encourage people to do when they look at my photos is ask themselves how they can slow down and appreciate the world around them. To me, that's kind of the secret sauce to feeling and living a content life. In Aurora, Danny New, Denver 7.